guys. All right, so some of you may recognize where I am. I am recording back in the original studio, studio at my house. So it didn't quite work out to keep recording at the store at the moment. It's just gotten way too busy, which is a good problem and a bad problem. It just made it really hard to actually get anything recorded because I kept needing my puzzle table for other things and all that. So this video is going to be a little bit jumbled because the unboxing of this video is actually filmed at the store because I wanted to keep that part in for you guys, but I redid some of the other parts that just kind of got interrupted and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah. So this is the redo of the introduction to this awesome puzzle. So I'm really excited about this one because I've wanted to do one of their puzzles for a really long time. And Unidragon actually reached out to me, which was a total surprise because I haven't been able to do this in a really long time. Thank you guys so much for being patient, by the way. Honestly, I'm so sorry. We had, we had no idea that it was gonna be this long in between making videos. <sighs> it's been, it's been wild. It uh, neither one of us expected it to be this hard. But without further ado, da -da -da -da, look at this cute little panda puzzle. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, I was so excited when they reached out and wanted me to do it. Look at this little fella. And the really the cool thing about Unidragon is I think they actually took the time to watch the channel because they sent me the biggest puzzle that they have. You guys can see here, 700 pieces, which is their largest size that they have. I didn't even ask for that. I was just like, dude, that panda is so cute. I will happily do it in any piece count. And I know from experience with the last wooden puzzle I did from Wooden City that sometimes bigger piece counts with wooden puzzles can be a little difficult because the pieces end up being real teeny tiny. So I thought not only would I do this puzzle in this video, but I will get out that Wooden City puzzle that you guys all know so well at this point to kind of do a piece comparison and all that when they're both said and done so that you guys can kind of see the difference between Unidragon as well as Wooden City. I do also have my handy dandy timer with me because I want to see if uh, how long this takes me. Like, I'm really curious. I want to know if I can get it done in roughly the regular amount of time I could do, let's say, a thousand piece puzzle. Knowing that wooden puzzles can kind of be a little bit trickier, I think that's pretty decent math. So we're shooting for around two and a half hours to do this little fella. So without further ado, let me flip you around so you can see some puzzle angles and all that good stuff. And we will get to doing this adorable little serious panda. And I will give you guys a little bit more of a breakdown about some of the pieces and all that good stuff. Alrighty guys, let's get into it. All right, you guys, let's open this up and see what we can see. Look at how pretty it is. Honestly, the box is super heavy duty. I think it's actually made out of wood itself, like, or press board at least. It's all sealed up. You even get like this cool little in info thingy on the back in all different languages too. Look at how cool that is. And you can see it's got the picture of all the unique shapes and stuff. I'm really excited. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait any longer. I got to open this thing. I got to know. <laughs> oh, it wrapped it well. There's, there's a hole. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oof. Huh. That's actually really smooth, all the artwork and stuff on it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Feels very cool. All right, let's see if I can solve the puzzle as to how to open the box. Okay, we got like, oh, okay, it's just a lid. Okay, it's all right, we're good. Don't laugh at me, don't be mean. He's being mean. That's actually really cool, oh my God. Wow, okay, that's heavy duty. Oh, look at this, okay. Welcome to the Unidragon family. Oh, that's cool, okay, so it's a little blurb about the CEO how to get uh, a missing piece if you're missing it. Oh, and it looks like they have their packers sign off. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. That's adorable. You get like this little collectible piece. Oh my goodness. It's a little dragon. It's their logo with a little puzzle piece inside of it. I love it. That's adorable. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. So that, well, that's obviously why they shrink wrap it because it's just literally out there. Wow, look at the detail on these pieces, you guys. Oh my God, so that's one of the special shapes. That's actually really cool. 
that must be the edge. I wonder, what, what is this? That's weird, there's two of them. Okay, interesting. I don't see any more like this right now. So like, huh. Oh wow, okay, so here's two pieces that actually came together. So the fit is actually really snug for a wooden puzzle, like way better than that other one that we had. I don't know whether it's just the like the cut, because you can see it's kind of wonky and all that. Um, but yeah, holy crap. That's like way less wiggly than the others. I would not have been able to pick the others up and shake them and be okay. Holy, okay, well I'm impressed already. Huh, that's neat. So very much like the other wooden puzzle, there's these wee little notches. You guys may not be able to see it, but like it's actually carved right through with the weird special shapes. Interesting, I wonder why they do that. Huh, cool, cool, cool. Oh my God, this special shape is like a tiger. That's adorable. And you can really see the detail, like they actually curve, wow. They really give it texture, my God, okay. Wow, so the printing quality is really good. Interesting, okay, I'm gonna like dump it out now. These are actually really cool, unique shapes. I'm a little afraid that some of them are stuck to this piece of burlap, so very much like regular puzzles, I'm not gonna throw it away. And yeah, so it's literally just a piece of burlap to protect your puzzle. That's kind of cool. Eh, I don't know if I'll be keeping that after the puzzle's done, we'll see. Eh, it's part of the novelty of it, why not? Huh. And nothing else inside the box, literally just box. Cool, plain and simple. That's neat. <laughs> no holes or anything for the puzzle pieces to fall out of, so that's, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, you guys. This might not actually be as bad as I thought it would be. Huh. I guess the only time will tell. All right, you guys. Let's get sorting. I already think it's gonna be easier to flip all these over because like it, the other one with the pattern on the back, it was really confusing at times and it'd be really hard to tell. Is that the front? Is that the back? I don't know. But with a clear back, this should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. It may blend in really well with my board though. Like, look at that. It's a good thing it's just like slightly lighter. Ah, regrets of having hardboard at this time. My goodness. Ah, <laughs> one reason not to have it for doing wooden puzzles. Oh dear. Okay, let's get sorting. Alrighty guys, so we are gonna try this angle out and we are gonna see what happens. So I am just getting my little panda guy set up here. I do apologize for the lighting, like I really hope it's okay. Um, unfortunately, I can only record like super late at night, like it's pretty much past midnight here kind of thing. Uh, so I'm just trying to do the best that I can with the lights. Uh, Casey will be able to tell me when he edits <laughs> this uh, <laughs> how, um, how much on a scale of 1 to 10 I screwed up. If y'all know Casey, I feel like he's going to go somewhere for the 8 to 10 range. We'll see. Maybe I did good. I tried a couple different ways. I really feel like this is the best shot. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a film master, <laughs> so we'll see how I score. Um, I wanted to show you guys. I got it halfway done, and then I thought I would show you. Um... I'm not sure if I'm 100% doing this right. I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, so you take the little wooden outside frame, which is also, um, fun fact, the cover of the box, and you take those little metal or um, wooden deweys, the weird shaped ones that came with it, and you just kind of shove them on either end of the frame area, like so. Ooh. The reason I say I'm not sure I'm doing it right is because it seems to take like an awful lot of force, but like I just can't think of any other way to do it. Uh, don't do that. That's wrong. <laughs> um, oh, do not wreck the place. You just give it a decent amount of force and then voila, it makes a cute little stand. So you can kind of see what in the heck you're supposed to be working on. So I'm going to set this little guy up over here with burlap because I think you guys should be able to see that semi-decently. Sorry guys, this is, it's a bit of a learning curve. This is also a whole new camera system to me, so there's that. Um, that gives you guys a pretty half-decent angle of that. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, he gets me handy-dandy timer that I got to turn on. Do, 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 get it in the right mode, mode, timer. Okay, you guys, I am officially gonna get started here. And we'll see. I'll occasionally, as usual, take you guys through as I get further in and all that. And let's go. Let's get to puzzling. The best part, am I right? Who needs the box? Not me. Let's 
go and start. Will I be able to do it in two and a half hours? Let's see. So I remember from the last wooden puzzle that it is like super duper hard to try to sort by any kind of edge. So I totally think, I really, really think that I'm going to do is bamboo here first because it's the most distinct part. I'm a little on the fence about how much his belly and all that's going to show up. I feel like the red is going to really pop and I'm going to get very distracted as I do with that. So like, I'll start with the bamboo and we'll see where we go. We'll see how long I can focus on it. We'll see if I can last longer than five minutes. Here's hoping, fingers crossed. Ugh. I gotta say, it's like a little weird filming back here, so the only thing that made us a little sad is that Casey isn't obviously here, because, I mean, we work pretty much every day at the store, so the only issue is he wants to go home, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, like I said, it's pretty much after midnight here. Um, he needs food and sleep and rest and all that good stuff, too, and I'm a little closer than he is, so it's a little easier for me. Um, I'll try to insert clips and stuff of him here and there because like he wants to see you guys too and you guys want to see him and all that so I mean it was it was a hard decision to decide to film at home again but we missed making videos for you guys and yeah we didn't want to be without one or the other but we're gonna try it for a little while and we're gonna see he was hoping for better days ahead right Oh no! Ah, you guys, tragedy. So it looks like on this piece, oh, it looks like it had a little accident in the cutter. See? Oh no! The, uh, one of the little pieces, the corners chipped off here, so the image isn't all that great. Oh, foo. I mean, it's just a little piece. It won't be noticed hardly in the grand scheme of the puzzle, but... Oh, sad. Foo-y, foo -y. Poor little guy. That's the breaks of wood, I guess. <gasps> I've got two little cheater pieces here. Ooh, I've got to spread those parts. Throw that one back. <laughs> the colors, otherwise, are like super vibrant. Like this is popping so well. And again, I'm already noticing the difference between this puzzle and the Wooden City puzzle. Again, I'm, like I'm not trying to hate on the Wooden City one. But the handling of these pieces is like way better. Oh my gosh. I can actually flip them over and they're not fighting back. Ugh. I did like the pattern background for the difficulty of the other one. I gotta say, that was a neat little thing. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was pretty cool. Bam! Just like that, we are all sorted. I got all my bamboo with minimal fighting back, actually, you guys. Like, most of the pieces are actually still flipped right side up, which I'm pretty impressed with, pretty happy with. I'm sitting at about eight minutes right now, which I'd say is, like, pretty good for a wooden puzzle. Honestly, that's pretty on par with normal, considering that it's about 700 pieces and all that. So, I mean, I'm happy. Let's get into building this thing. I kind of threw all my pieces off pretty far because I don't know how big this is going to be. It's kind of hard to tell at this point, and I am no judge of size, as you all know. Let's go. Let's get some pieces rolling.
Alrighty guys, so I'm at a little over an hour now and I thought I'd show you where I'm at. So I got all his bamboo done, which ended up being bigger than I thought. Like, I mean, that's the size of my hand. So like, that's actually a pretty decent sized puzzle. The only issue I had was around here when I was connecting some of the leaves. It was so weird. It's like the wood swelled or the way I tried to click it in or something. This little area here wouldn't connect properly and the pieces wouldn't hook in. I got it to work. Um, I just had to rearrange it. it. Was It's so weird how taking a few pieces out it just made all the difference and placing them super carefully. So it must have just been in the way that I shifted the puzzle. But all in all, like, I can't believe how vibrant that this looks already. Like, that's impressive for just putting a picture on wood. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I am at an hour and 11 minutes. That's not bad, really. I mean, that's probably, like, I gotta say, based on the picture that that's like a third of the puzzle I would say I mean I think that's pretty good that's insane yay I think two and a half hours is still achievable but we'll see a little later on as more of the puzzle gets done
All right, my friends, we are in the home stretch. Last few pieces. That one was totally tricking. I totally forgot about him there. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. And there you have it, friends. One very adorable, serious panda finished in three hours and 14 minutes. Actually, not too bad. Like, that's really not that far off what I thought would happen. I mean, my, I was shooting for two and a half hours, but with a wooden puzzle, you never know. So, like, honestly, I'll take that. Look at how cute this little guy is. He's got his adorable little panda. Er, but, but he is a panda. He has bamboo. <laughs> Never mind me, I'm crazy. Look at how much the colors pop, you guys. I can't believe the pattern on this guy. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Overall, such a positive experience so far. All right. All right, you guys, so as I promised at the start, I am gonna also do the Wooden City puzzle so that you guys can kind of see a comparison as to between the Unidragon and the Wooden City puzzle to kind of see the pros and the cons of both. All right, my friends. First, there was one puzzle. And bam, now there are two puzzles here. All right, my friends. So this is the Unidragon Serious Panda Puzzle. Look at how cute he is again. I just need to take a minute to appreciate how adorable he is. And as some of you may know from previous videos, this is the Puzz World Wooden Jigsaw Puzzle. So this one's a thousand pieces versus the 700 with the series panda. So eh, do, 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 do. here's the top of the Unidragon box. Do, do. And here, if I can pick it up, <laughs> is the Puzz World box. A little bit bigger. Biggest takeaway is that this one comes with a paper bag, whereas with the Unidragon puzzle, it doesn't actually come with anything to put the pieces in afterwards. I mean, I'm probably going to throw them in a Ziploc bag before they go back in here, just because I don't want to lose any of the pieces. Um, I, I, th I mean, not that puzzles regularly come with bags, but I don't know. Um, so that was kind of a point in the puzz world, in the um, Wooden City puzzle's favor. One big, big, big thing in the Unidragon's favor is, okay, watch how when I move this one, the pieces stay together pretty well. Like you gotta take it with a grain of salt because with wood there needs to be a little bit of playroom. Otherwise, when they swell, it's not gonna fit together anymore ever. The thing about the Puzz World one, and I hope you guys could see it on camera, is that there is a lot of separation between the pieces. Now, I gotta say, I honestly think it's because that one's a thousand pieces versus the 700. And I, I think there's something to be said about cutting the pieces down, possibly even a little too small in some cases. Just makes it harder for them to interlock together overall. Um, I think 700 pieces, although not as high as I'm used to in piece count, is a good max for a wooden puzzle. Not too many, not too few. The pieces don't end up being too small, too hard to pick up kind of thing. Like, I think it's just a good ratio overall. And it still ended up being a pretty good challenge. I mean, 700 pieces took me three hours and 14 minutes, I think it was. That, that's, that's pretty high for normal. That, so that's, um, so I think there's definitely a decent challenge in here. I mean, there's something to be said about all the weird and wonky shapes. That definitely mm, adds a challenge to it. Um, gotta say, they're both really good brands. Really, really good brands. The one thing that I really liked about the Unidragon puzzle and was not expecting, it has a black border along the edge, which I, I, like, I didn't expect that. I thought that the end would just be the end. And with all the weird pieces, it would be really hard to distinguish what the border is. So I really liked that. That was an unexpected plus. The colors are beautiful. Overall, I gotta give this guy like a 9 out of 10. I think he's pretty solid, pretty good. 
I, I think it's hard to imagine a wooden puzzle being more like having more clickability or anything like that. Because again, it, it's wood. You're working with what you got. Super solid puzzle. Um, I w- I'm going to link put their link in the description as well. So if you guys are interested in these puzzles, I know they run a little bit more expensive as wooden puzzles do, but they are totally worth the price. And hey, bonus, if you're Canadian, they have warehouses in Canada, which is really awesome because, you know, then you don't have to pay duty and all that good stuff on it. Yay! I would still recommend the Wooden City ones. I think I would go with the smaller piece count, though. I know I said that in the other video, but I still, it just holds true. I really liked the thousand pieces for the challenge of it. That was great for me, but I did feel like the pieces were a little too small and a little too loose. So if I was to ever do one of their puzzles again, I would most definitely pick a smaller piece count. I do still think it's a gorgeous image, though. Like, overall, they both did a fantastic job of transferring that image over onto the wood. It's crazy! love it the picture is so beautiful you guys know i like animals then this is like this has all the animals this guy is just a super cute little panda literally can't go wrong with either all right you guys that's it that's all for this video overall i would most definitely recommend unidragon a great big huge thank you to them for giving me the chance to try their puzzles out so sorry that the video took a little longer to make than expected did not expect it to be so hard to finish up the video and all that good stuff overall thank you so so much it was a great opportunity i will totally be doing your puzzles again in the future because i really want to try that adorable little dragon puzzle that they have as well too oh it was really hard to pick between that one and the panda you guys i can't even believe that on a bit of a channel personal note thank you so so much you guys for being patient with us I'm so sorry if the quality and the lighting and all that was a little bit lower on this one. That might be a bit of a learning curve as Casey kind of lets me know if the light worked, if it didn't work, that kind of thing. Uh, if I need to change the position of the camera and all that good stuff. It, it, this is the first video with this brand new camera that I got. So, you know, it's a work in progress. But hey, we're, we finally managed to make a video again. We are really, 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 both Casey and I are really so sorry that we took such a long break. It was never something that we intended to do to take such a big vacation from puzzling the store got crazy and it got really really hard to try and make the videos we're hoping to get on a more consistent schedule so that we can hopefully post a video a week we're hoping to have one ready for I think Sundays we were thinking of uploading if not on Sundays if I could actually get it if I can get a video filmed at home on Sundays kind of thing and then he can edit it through the week and be ready for you guys so we're hoping to at least get you guys one a week from now on consistently because I know I've still got to do the color me puzzle and I have another really exciting surprise that was sent to me um if you guys are interested in the Unidragon puzzle, the link is in the description. Check their stuff out, especially with the holidays coming. I'm sure they'll have some really great holiday deals on, especially Black Friday sales and all that good stuff. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, our link is in the description as well for the store. If you guys are looking for puzzle merch from us as well, I'll sign all the puzzles. Just let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, and yeah, definitely do not forget to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.